What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and also be talking about Adidas weird sizing. Now for me to get my perfect size on this shoe, I literally had to go through three different kinds of sizes just to get the perfect fit. Now when it comes to sneakers, I wear between eight and a half and the nine. Now, I don't know if you guys know, Adidas literally has the weirdest sizing when it comes to shoes, you know. On Yeezys, I'm size nine. On Ultra Boost, I'm eight and a half. Pretty much all other Adidas, I'm eight and a half. But when it comes to RMD R1s, this is a size seven, you guys, like literally size seven. I haven't worn a size seven since like seventh grade. I did try to cop both colorways. Adidas has them on sale right now for 30% off. And then on top of that, plus an additional 20% off. They do have different colorways, but for me, I personally like the all black and I also like the all white colorway. I did try to cop both of them. NMD R1s are supposed to be fit like socks, as you can see right here. Socks uh, uppers. So it's supposed to fit you right around your ankle pretty nice and tight to get that nice fresh look. I personally got these so I can start exercising with them. They're extremely comfortable and most importantly, they're very light and comfortable at the same time. All right, guys, let's get these on feet and see how they look. The eight and a half has my foot swimming all in the shoes, you know, it's very uncomfortable and it doesn't look stylish, you know. This NMD R1s are supposed to be fit like socks, as you can see right here. They have the socks uh, uppers, so it's supposed to fit you right around your ankle pretty nice and tight to get that nice fresh look. If you do decide to copy NMD's R1, I would highly recommend you downsize at least half a size, if not a full size down. I went a size and a half down just so I can get the perfect fit. Now the black colorway was harder to find, especially because it was on sale. You know, it's really hard to find your perfect size. I wanted to get seven and a half. I know seven and a half would have fit me perfect, but size seven is just a little bit tight but not to the fact where it's uncomfortable and I need to take it off, you know? I can just kind of feel my toe touching on the end of the shoe. The boost is very nice quality. It does seem a little bit softer than your regular boost, comparing it from Ultra Boost or Yeezys. But nevertheless, it's, it's still boost. If you do decide to get these, I will be putting the link in the description. I got them from adidas.com. Adidas.com does have a sale right now. They normally run $170. They have them on sale for $119. And on top of that, they also have another 20% off. So you pretty much can get 50% off all total, paying only 83 bucks, and you get these shoes, you know. For the price, I really highly recommend it. You're getting the real boost shoes, and they're very comfortable, stylish looking. And for 80 bucks, you really can't beat it. Personally, I think these Prime Knit are perfect for summer wear just because they're extremely light. You know, you can rock them with shorts. They look really nice with shorts because they have that socks upper right here. I'm the type of person that loves to shop online because to me, online, you always get the best deals out there. The way I look at it, like in your area, they might have a particular shoes like 20, 30 bucks off, you know, next state to you, they might have it for 80 or 60 bucks off, you know? So it really depends on you. I personally like to shop online. I always found that I find the best deals online, but then again, different folks, different strokes, 
It's really up to you. All right, guys, thank you for staying tuned to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe below. Let me know if you have any suggestions, any questions. I would love to get back to you guys. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'll see you next time. Peace.